Hi, I'm Stuart from StuartVideo.com, and today we're going to be showing you how to change the password on an LTS Platinum NVR. So if that's what you have, let's follow along. So now, open a browser window in Chrome. Uh, there may be other browsers that are compatible, but today we are using Chrome. So in Chrome, you're going to go up to the top address bar, enter in the address that was provided by your installer. If you don't have it, please request it. Um, so enter it in. I'm pasting mine in there. Your address may look different uh, depending on how you're connecting to your NVR. Uh, I'm using a local IP address. You may be using a domain name or DDNS uh, address. So it can look different. So use what you have and it should work. And turn to the browser. Uh, hit enter. It'll bring you to a login screen, and that should look familiar to you if you've never seen it. Uh, this is your login screen. And you'll see on the top right, top middle right, there's a place to put in the username. So we are changing today. For me, we're doing the admin password, but you can be changing any account that you, that you have, as long as you have the information to log in. So you need to log in with the current information to change to a new password. So enter the current password. That's the username for me is admin and then the password. And then we're going to log in. And you'll see a new screen here. Um, the videos. May or may not pop up for you. Uh, for me, they don't in here, but that's okay because the information we need is on the screen. You can make changes even though you don't see uh, the video filling in these boxes. So what we're gonna concentrate on is the top row here where you see my mouse moving. Uh, there's a few choices there like playback, picture, application, and configuration. We're looking for configuration. Click on that and then you should see a page a new page open. And again, we can ignore most of it, but on the left side where my mouse is, you're going to go all the way down to here where it says user management. You're going to click on that. And then you should see on the new information that's opened up, uh, should see all the user accounts. This is user list, right? And the admin is energy number one here. So for, for this video, we'll be changing the admin password. So when you hover over it, you see it changes. Well, you click on it, it gets a little darker. So that's selected right now. You can select any one of these, but we're going to select admin. And then we're going to go up here, not that uh, right near it. Right near there, it says add and modify. So we're looking to modify. So you're going to click on modify. You'll see a new screen pop up, lots of information. What we're looking to do here is put, to put in the current password. It says old password is your current password because we have not changed it yet. So this would be the same password you just logged in a minute ago with. Uh, then it wants the new password right underneath that. So enter in the new one. I'm using a weak password to show you that it will give you a green check mark, meaning that's acceptable for a password, but it's it's reminding you that it's weak. So we'll let you use it. But if you use more characters, or like it's suggesting on the bottom here, you'll see video passwords range from 8 to 16. Uh, you can use a combination of numbers, of numbers, lowercase and uppercase special characters for your password with at least two kinds of them combined. So they, they want it to be a strong password, but they will let you use a weak password. So I suggest using a stronger one. Uh, and then in here, you will see that it wants to match the password. So you're going to confirm the one you just did on top, enter it in again, and this should change to match. So we're going to do that now.
And as you can see, I have two green checkboxes here. So that's pretty much all you got to do. All this other stuff stays the same because it was already it was probably already configured. And like we said, we're just changing to password. So then you're going to go to the OK, uh, OK button on the bottom. You're going to click on that. And over here, it says successfully saved. Uh, uh, uh. So that should be OK. Now, what you're going to do is uh, from here, you don't have to do anything else. So you can log out, and then you should be able to log back in. This is the stuff screen we started on, the main login screen, and try your new password. And you should be able to get in and uh, continue using your new password. And remember to change this password in your phone, if you have your phone connected or anywhere else that you connect or if you have somebody else using that same account, uh, let them know or change it where you need to into the new password. So enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.